Watchers from Scale Birds. We're a Werner Motor dealer in the United States, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Scarlet 9S radial engine. Today's video, we want to show you a close up view of the engine uh, all around it. We're going to explain the features and the systems to you. So the Werner 9S is 158 horsepower max takeoff at 2400 RPM. It's direct drive. Uh, so the engine RPM is your prop RPM. Um, it's got a nice rumble to it. It sounds like a real radial. Its uh, max continuous RPM is 2000. So you can do 2400 for three minutes, 2000 max continuous. Sweet spot's probably 1800 RPM all day long. Um, it's, uh, so it's direct drive, it's got a dry sump oil system, so the tank uh, needs to be lower on the engine as opposed to up above. It's got a gravity drain system for the oil. So the, the integral oil pump is pulling the oil from the tank and then it's draining back to the tank. Uh, and so gravity always works and it's a simple, robust system. So the oil system works like this. It's got a, uh, an oil pump driven directly off of the crankshaft, and it's pulling the oil in from the oil tank. From there, it's going to flow up to the upper cylinders into the valve cover. So this is a feed line for oil into the valve covers. Then it drains back through the pushrod tubes into the case. The lower cylinders, it's reversed. So the oil is fed through the case, down these push tubes to the valve covers, and then it drains back at the bottom to the tank. So here's an overall view of the rear of the engine. You're gonna see the ignition system. You're gonna see the fuel system. You're gonna see the starter, uh, the intakes. You're also gonna see the mounts. This is the mounting, there's eight mounting points. Uh, for uh, the rubber bushings. Here's a close in of the front of the engine. Starting with the prop hub. This is an SAE1 prop hub. So it's got the standard 3 8 bolts, six bolt pattern. Uh, behind that is the alternator and the ignition. There's sensors for every cylinder. Here's a Volkswagen style internal gear driven oil pump with the filter is right here. Your intake for your oil system is right here. It uses about a 5 8 hose. This is the line that pressurizes the upper cylinders. So it's putting oil out to here and it drains back. So another feature that they've included in the 9S is a drain for the lowest intake tube. So before you start the engine, you need to make sure that that's draining and then tight. All right, so for the electrical system, uh, the ignition is basically sensors around the prop hub. So there's a, a pickup on the prop hub and sensors all around locating that. These wires running back to a, a dual electronic ignition modules. And that's these plugs here. So with the electronic ignition, each spark plug gets its own coil pack. And so it's, with dual ignition, you have 18 different ignition systems uh, running to two control boxes for each system of the two dual systems. Your fuel injection system is a throttle body so this is a housing for a throttle body. You have two main injectors. And then you also have an, a, a third injector. That's for a manual push button, kind of like a primer. So you, you get air coming in through a filter. It'll be right here where my hand is. Goes into the throttle body. The fuel gets sprayed in to the behind the butterfly. And then it goes into this housing here. This is a blower. It's a mixing blower and it's a 1.3 to 1 ratio actual positive boost. The blower also serves to mix the air fuel mixture properly after it's been injected. 
And so it's given a, uh, an even distribution of fuel air mixture out to each of the cylinders through these black graphite intake tubes. On the rear side of the engine, you've got uh, your intake system, your spark system, your fuel system. So here's the dual spark plug wires coming down to each spark plug gets its own coil. There's a wiring harness for the ignition systems. That's all pre-wired and done on your engine. The fuel system is a throttle body. Here's your throttle connection point. The uh, electronic fuel injection system has a plug and play wiring harness. So you'll have a separate computer that you would mount on the firewall or somewhere and then the, the harness just plugs right in. Each point is located and they have clear instructions on how to do that. Plug and play. Here's the throttle body. This is the blower. So it's a mixing blower inside here that sends the air out, the air fuel mixture out into your uh, intake tubes, out to your heads. Here's another view of the throttle body with the throttle connection point. Here's the starter, the high torque starter. The intake tubes and coil packs and here's uh, a view of the mount so there's eight mount points and it uses this same uh, rubber bushing uh, as part of a kit of eight so here's a view of the top of the engine uh, here's the cylinder head here's the cylinders that Werner makes themselves they're aluminum with a steel liner uh, this is a purchased head it's an OEM part. Uh, they make their own valve covers. Here's a dual spark plug set up. They drill that for a second spark plug. Here's the oil line coming up and uh, feeding oil to the top cylinders into the valve cover. So I don't know if you can see it zoomed in very clearly, but these are Volkswagen style head bolts with a ribe spline type uh, feature. There's four of them two from inside, you get to two of them inside the valve cover and two of them are exposed. So that's a simple overview of the Scarlet 9S and every installation is going to be a little bit different. If you have particular questions for us or need more information, we're available at scalebirds.com and look at the link below and uh, you'll be able to see our contact information. Glad to talk to you today. Thanks. I want to get back. Back here.